everyone. Welcome to the Daily English News Program on Azerbaijan Television with the most important events of the day. I'm your host, Lady Sindi. President Tuham Aliyev signed an executive order on raising the wages of teachers, school principals and deputy school principals, as well as pre-conscription military instructors working in general education institutions who underwent diagnostic assessment of their skills and capacities. According to the executive order, their monthly wages will be raised by 10 percent on average starting from February 1, 2023. With another executive order, President Tuham Aliyev raised the wages of teachers, pre-conscription military and physical education instructors and those employees engaged in management and training activities in vocational schools who underwent diagnostic assessment of their skills and capacities. According to the executive order, their monthly wages will be raised by 10 percent on average starting from February 1, 2023. According to the Training Combat Plan for 2023 approved by the Azerbaijan Defense Ministry, training flights were conducted with the Air Force helicopter units. In accordance with the plan, the helicopters carried out flights from these airfields on identified routes. During the training, helped to improve their combat skills of helicopter crews, the assigned tasks have been successfully accomplished. Eco-activists and NGOs representatives continue their rally on the Lashenhan Kender Road against the illegal exploitation of mineral deposits in Karabakh. Today is the 74th day of the rally. The road is open for humanitarian purposes. The International Court rejected Armenia's application in connection with a rally on the Lachin Road. Deputy Foreign Minister Nur Mehmedov stated at a briefing on the decision announced by the International Court in the Hawk on the suit of Azerbaijan. According to him, Armenia's petitions were rejected at the International Court of Justice. One of the appeals was related to a peaceful rally held by eco-activists and civil society representatives of Azerbaijan on the Lachin Road since December 12 last year. The International Court of Justice rejected Armenia's request that the rally was allegedly fabricated. The second petition was that allegedly Azerbaijani government does not meet the needs of people of Armenian origin living in the Karabakh region with Azerbaijani citizenships. The court dismissed the claim as well. The deputy minister also noted that Azerbaijan presented facts related to the mine problem to the court. In August 2022, Azerbaijan regained full control over the city of Lachin, the villages of Zabuch and Sus. In these territories, new mines made in Armenia were discovered in 2021. They were delivered through the Lachin route. During the court hearings, Armenia was unable to refute any of the facts presented by Azerbaijan of the discovery in the liberated territories of Azerbaijan of mines produced in Armenia in 2021. On January 4th, we first applied to the court in connection with this issue. During the court hearings, there were interesting moments. Thus, Armenia was unable to refute any of the facts, especially regarding new mines. We even introduced the name of the company, Haikmek. This company is engaged in the production of mines on the basis of a license issued by the Armenian government. The Khojala genocide is a glaring violation of norms of the international law. In total, about 81,000 procedural actions were carried out in the criminal case, including about 28,500 persons interrogated as victims and legal heirs of the victims. The data is that was reported at the Scientific Practical Conference held at the Ministry Prosecutor's Office and dedicated to the 31st anniversary of the Khojala genocide. Deputy Attorney General, Military Prosecutor Hanlar Veliev noted that during the investigation of the criminal case, 
A measure of restraint in the form of arrest was chosen for 40 persons who were proven to commit crimes against peace and humanity in Khojale. Relevant documents were directed to the National Bureau of Interpol in Azerbaijan and Main Department of Criminal Investigation of the Ministry of Internal Affairs to put these persons on the wanted list. Former Defense Minister of Armenia, Seyran Ahanyan, is also charged. Currently, investigative operational measures are underway. Film Tragedy of the Century, shot on the initiative of the Military Prosecutor's Office, was shown at the event. Participants visited the Genocide Memorial Museum and got acquainted with the exhibits. The growth in the volume of gas transported to Europe in 2023 is planned to be provided at the expense of Azerbaijan, because this year the volume of Russian gas supplies to the EU will decrease from 35 to 25 billion cubic meters. In 2023, the export of gas from the alternative gas suppliers to Europe will grow at expense of Azerbaijan. This is stated in the report of the International Energy Agency. The document notes that gas consumption by European countries in 2023 is projected at 122 billion cubic meters, which is 1 billion cubic meters more than in 2022. For example, previously Bulgaria was 90% dependent on Russia for natural gas supplies, and the recently commissioned gas interconnect to Greece Bulgaria made it possible to eliminate this dependence. Thus, Bulgaria will be able to satisfy its need for gas next year by importing natural gas from Azerbaijan. American expert Jonathan Elkind also touched upon the important role of Azerbaijan in the energy security of Europe. He said that Azerbaijan is of great importance in resolving the global energy crisis as a valuable partner. Norway has been an important supply of gas to Europe. However, it was Azerbaijan that covered the serious need for alternative energy sources in Europe during the crisis. Yet the volume of gas transported from Azerbaijan is not as large as that of Russia. But there are ample opportunities for further expansion of the production base for the growth of production and field development. It should be noted that in the last two years, Azerbaijan supplied Europe with 21 billion cubic meters of gas. In 2027, it's planned to increase gas supplies from our country and bring its volume to 20 billion cubic meters. A media tour was held at the STEAM Innovation Center. Head of the center, Igar Nazarov, familiarized media representatives with the works underway. He noted that the recognition of the STEAM movement played a role in the integration of Azerbaijan into the international education and science space. It should be noted that students visiting the center can apply what they learned in physics there. All necessary conditions were created at the center. STEAM platform will also allow the development of modern personnel for the digital labor market in the future, which will establish conditions for the training of experienced professionals in the coming years. You can get in touch with us by contacting us to the Haber's frontline number 051-511-1956, through which you can report events you encountered as well as share your suggestions and remarks. You can also contact us via our WhatsApp and Telegram accounts. That was all for the day. Thank you for being with us and see you next time.